Hello everybody, my name is Cyberwolf and welcome to Santa Monica by Night. Um, this game is a, uh, it, it was made for a game jam, the Vampire Jam to be more exact. Um, and I actually did already play this game. Um, I actually played this game like a couple days ago. Um, but the problem was, I didn't actually record it. I thought I recorded it. I played through it like I recorded it, provided lots of commentary, stopped in the middle a few times to just rant about small things in the game, um, or not rant, but like mention a few things in the game, but I, uh, I forgot to start recording. <laughs> so yeah, I, I didn't record anything for the day, so uh, yeah, um, but anyways, Let's get into it. There's there's different endings to the game, which is a good thing. So I'm going to go through it differently than I did before. Um, well, rather, there's the endings don't really come through until you... Uh, until you um, finish the game, I don't think. Um, Stop it! Sorry about that just then, um, my, uh, my children were, um, going a little crazy over by the door, and they just love to play at the door, which is, makes a lot of noise. Anyway, so, Santa Monica. I've never really been here before. At least not in real life. But it feels so familiar now that I'm here. Fifteen years have passed since I've played that damn game for the first time. Also, um, there was, uh, this game has a bunch of references to another vampire, vampire game. I've never heard of it until I heard of this game, and I obviously never played it. Um, it's called, uh, The Masquerade Bloodline. Um, so, no idea what that is, but, um... It doesn't, like, take away from the game at all. It just makes little references to it every now and then. <clears throat> Excuse me. Back then, a dark, immersive fantasy. Nothing more, nothing less. Did I wish I could live in a grim world filled with bloodsuckers? Heh. <laughs> Hell yeah. But what I didn't realize was... It was all true. It all changed when he appeared in my life. He turned me and let me taste the blood for the first time. He told me I'm different from others than him, but he didn't reject me. Instead, he sent me here, to a place I wanted to visit so badly. And now I guess the only thing left for me to say is, Hello, LA. You're way past your bedtime. Alright, so, got this note. Thin blood, your curse, but screw this verse. Such trouble I sense in one so young. Come find me where lies the doomsayer hum. The doomsayer bum. Okay, so, um, basically, we need to find this guy, uh, Vincent Linz. Um, basically, uh, Julius, our sire, um, he's. Vincent is Julius's sire. So, like, our vampire grandfather, basically. Um, so, uh, he, he wants to see him again, and just wants us to bring him to him. Um, do you want the biggest, the hottest, the most wanted, the tastiest, the hardest, throbbing, pulsing video game of this decade? Order now at bloodlines2.com. Um, let's see, uh, nothing there, um, uh, this isn't just another guy who's just, uh, kind of threatening us not to make any trouble. Uh, I thought I'll be able to talk to the TV guy, uh, at least, but it only plays ads. Makeshift sun barricade, must have worked, as I survived the night somehow. Oh wait, there's a poster. I didn't even notice the poster last time. Huh, this poster is old school. 
I don't mind though. It's a great band. All right, so walking down the street. Sounds like it's raining. Should have brought an umbrella. Might be a thin blood, but I'm pretty sure this is not where you look for blood. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk about God? What? The Bible is not written by the saints. All you believe is a fake scheme. There are darker powers that stand behind it all. Um, to be to be honest, this guy looks just like uh, Kevin Eleven from uh, Ben Ten. If you guys ever watched that, what are you talking about? Vampires control the church since forever. Uh, Cain was the first father of all bloodsuckers. Thanks, Miko, for uh, opening up my blinds. <laughs> Dude, I know all of this. Oh, so you're one of us. Aren't you breaking the masquerade right now? Dude, masquerade is over. Police, FBI, church, they all know about us already. It's the common folk that, do that doesn't know a thing. And church uses that to manipulate them. So you think telling them the truth will help this? That's what we believe. Jesus Christ, it's bright outside. Miko! Hey, can you can you move away from the blinds? Please? It's bright. I'm getting whitewashed. Ugh! The second wind position in the city. The war has already started. I'd rather not fight any war, but thanks. Huh. Oblivious just like the mortals. Good luck in trying to be neutral forever, mate. Yeah, thanks. Alright. Nothing else around here. Oh, I remember this guy. This is an interesting character right here. I want to buy some... What, drugs? I'm not into drugs, sorry. No. I mean porn. Wait, what? Dude, I got everything you need. All your dirty fantasies made true on tape. I don't think anyone can play tapes nowadays. I don't mean literal tapes, of course. Sorry, just my old work habits. Why are you selling porn in a dark alley exactly? Haven't I told you already I have everything you need? Yeah, that drove me out of my Hollywood shop. Uh, shouldn't you be in jail now, then? It's not that kind of porn, jeez. It's worse? Look, I have seen some shit throughout my career. Some dark, dark things I've never wanted to see. Once, I got a delivery of videos from an unknown source. The actors seemed to have fun, but they were all deformed. Like 1920s Nosferatu kind of deformed. Uh, um... Look, there's a market for that kind of thing. I started selling them. Until one night, her knocked to my door. The ugly types, they came for me. They took all the tapes and made me promise I'll close up my shop. So I did. Little did they know, I still had stashed copies. And now, here I am. You're lucky. You're lucky you're alive, pal. Don't have to tell me. So, what would it be? The Gangrene Stripper Deluxe? The Ultimate Pimple Popper? You know what? I'm pretty sure there's enough YouTube videos on that one for, uh, for people to not buy them in a dark alley. I didn't bring my wallet with me. I'll be back later, alright? Sure, honey. Alright, so let's just keep on walking. I believe this is the blood bank. I don't think it works like in video games, though. I'm not hungry. Besides, I'm quite sure this nice old lady doesn't work here anymore. What's going on here? What's up with all the police? Doomsayer. He did! <laughs> the Doom who? The absolute legend. I mean, we are all kind of tired by his yelling, so I guess it's a relief to most of us. So what's the police doing here? Collecting the corpse, of course. Don't worry, happens all the time. So I can't get into the other side of the street? Shucks. Just <gasps> go grab a drink or something. It should be gone in no time. Alright, thanks. Oh, right, can't go in the diner. Um, asylum. Um, hi. What do you want? Uh, just to talk, I guess. Hmm. Listen, I haven't seen you before. Possible. Like, weren't you a client here before? Possible. Didn't you look a little... I had my share of fun, okay? I did the clubs, the lines, the nines. One dumb mistake, I ended up pregnant. Then five other mistakes happened. Need any more explanation, or could I pour you a fucking drink? Uh, I'm not thirsty, thanks though. Sure. Hey, this is the guy that sent us that email. Huh, so you're the new guy in town. Uh, it hasn't been a week since the previous fresh thin blood I've met here. I swear it's a fucking mass production nowadays. 
Name's Skelter. Um, hi, I'm Matt. Let me guess. You saw your band in you. You have no idea what's going on. Your goth dream... I gotta close that. Your goth dream has come to a se to be, uh, was to become a sexy beast. But now, you want to go back to your girlfriend and you miss your mama's sandwiches. Sounds familiar? Uh, no, actually. It's the contrary. Actually, you know what? I, I went through this one feeling like normal dialogue. I'm gonna do this one sarcastically. It's no surprise. This is what happens to most thin bloods around here. Ditched by, ditched by their sires is their living mistakes. They spend their short afterlife seeking revenge or meaning to all of this. And that's usually why their lifespan's so short. Trust me on this, and don't hunt your sire. Learn. Adapt. It's the only way to survive those final nights, fledgling. Thanks for the advice, Skelter. Is that the only thing you need, though? Advice? No, actually, I'm... Looking for a friend of mine. Everyone is looking for someone these days. How can I help? Um, where can I go if I'm looking for someone missing? Didn't they teach you that in school? What if that someone is a vampire? You ask around, simple as that. Give me some information, I'll try to help you. He's pretty old, also German. Old and German. Hmm. Rolf Toden? No. Vincent Lenz? That rings a bell, I think. You don't remember the name of your friend? I, uh... We use code names. Code names. Mm-hmm. Fucking lens. So you know him. Like most old timers in LA, yeah. He used to help us. First with LaCroix, then with the next prince. After that, we finally won the city back. But Lens was gone. I didn't think his intentions were genuine. My theory is he wanted that crown for himself. Once he realized C uh, Camarilla was dead here, he disappeared. Huh. Why are you looking for him? My sire wants him found. So, oh, so that's why he keeps you around. Is that bad? No, it's completely normal. What's in it for your sire, then? I think they might be in love. That's never good. Let me guess. Torridors? You guessed right. Fucking hell. You're lucky you're a thin blood. Listen, if he wasn't hiding somewhere, someone would have seen him. And the only places to hide here is sewers. Doesn't sound very Torridor. But, maybe he's desperate. You should contact Nosferatu. Uh, we don't have many friends with them, fucking Camarilla Royalists. But Bertram Tongue might know more. Thanks, Skelter. No problem, Matt. We're good as long as you don't cause any mess in the city. I'll try my best not to. Cheers. Alright, there, there was nothing else here. So, uh, let's head back out. I think. Oh, um, how do I get out of here? Nothing, nothing else. I forgot how to get out of here. Oh, there we go. That's a door. That is the light of a door. Okay. And these people are gone. Doomsayer sign. I guess this is where the doomsayer lies. Or rather, lied. You get it? Lied? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like maybe playing this guy sarcastically is, uh, more his alley. He's here! Fucking bloodsucker! Get him, boys! Thump. Ouch! Walk. Time up! Time up! Oh, right. <laughs> I gotta click here. Oh, my head. How long have I been here? He's awake. He's awake. Remove the blindfold. Look! Look into his evil eyes! Satan Spawn looks scared, father. Oh, uh, let me go. This is a misunderstanding. Are you telling us you're not a vampire? Confess your sins, demon! Vampire? What are you, uh... I'm not a vampire. I'm a vampire hunter. Ridiculous. And I'm in love with Edward from Twilight. Right, and I'm secretly fantasizing about Vampire Threesome. How probable is that, right? Don't play it full, bloodsucker. We know you're looking for one of your friends here. Tell us who sent you. The Pope? I'm not- I'm on a secret mission. I can't reveal anything. Right. I, I don't know, Rosalina. What if he's right? I don't want to get in trouble with the bishop again. Oh, you're going to be in so much trouble once he finds out. What's the name of our bishop? What? I asked you, what's the name of our bishop? 
That's what I thought. We know you're looking for Mr. Lens. And now you're going to reveal all your information about him. Why are you searching for him? Speak. Uh, he donated money to my sister with leukemia. Oh, uh, that's kind of sweet. Father, did you forget about the lying nature of this monster? Ah, he must have used his manipulative techniques on me. <laughs> I feel weak. Oh, no. Calm down, Father. It's time. Thank you for your cooperation, vampire. Now you shall die, a creature of the night. Show him the sun. A ouch. Let the rays of God set you aflame, monster. He's not burning. I don't think he's a vampire, father. Nonsense, he's probably very powerful. We made him unconscious with two punches earlier. Clearly, he's just a sleep-deprived student. Derek, you can hide the sun now. My eyes need some rest. This is not over. Proceed with the garlic test. Who turned off the lights again? Here's the garlic, father. Ouch! Ow! Ah! See? He's reacting to garlic. It's probably a skin allergy. What if it's not? What the? Bam. Run away! Run away! Alright. Let me cut these ties for you. Huh? What? Who are you? Ah, uh, where's that light switch? Hmm. Whoever that was, he must have gotten here through the sewers. Also, why is there, like, a manhole sewer right in this room? Well, well, well. Look who's not a fried chicken. How... How is that possible? Um, excuse my manners. I'm Matt. You must be... I know you are, fledgling. My name is Bertram Tongue. Thanks for saving me, Bertram. Thank your blood, first and foremost. Some thin bloods can still see the sun, unlike most of us. It won't kill you instantly, just make you weaker. But the garlic, it shouldn't happen. From where? Video game? Huh. Listen, fledgling, you're a real vampire now. It's time to put your knowledge gathered from video games aside. So, we're weak to garlic. Some of us are. Some of us can't enter the house uninvited. Some of us can't cross rivers or enter churches. All that folklore stuff you heard of in fairy tales. It's based on something, fledgling. It's so different from what I've heard. Learn. Adapt. Speaking of which, I heard you're looking for someone. No point in hiding this anymore, I guess. Your sire put you on a very dangerous mission. Lens was, uh, he kicked off sides at once. Meddled with anarchs, plotted with Camarilla, even contacted the church. The man was always playing a dangerous game. You mentioned, you mentioned him in the town, and you're asking for trouble. What should I do then? Well, it looks like we're the only ones who can help you, the Nosferatu. But not for free. You can pay me with information. What does your sire want from him? Uh, just to reunite, I think. Suspicious. And no one knows your sire's agenda. And what exactly is your sire's allegiance? I'm not sure. He taught me about the masquerade and stuff. Uh, you're definitely lucky. Listen, a comeback like this is a dangerous to all sides. Anarchs are in power now, but Camarillo wants the coast back. Your lost boy caused enough mess... Uh, your lost boy caused enough mess on all sides to ignore this. What guarantee do we have that this won't repeat? Uh, we want nothing to do with this city. I find him and we're gone. I don't say I have no idea. I'm just trying to do my job here. It's a wise thing to do, fledgling. Listen. I'll ask around. If a single rat sees Vincent, you'll get an email about this. Check your inbox when you have time. Alright, I'll appreciate it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to the rats. Sure. Alright, so, time to head back home. Oh, this is the only one. Okay. Alright, so, anyways, I, I do really enjoy this game. It's a pretty good game. I enjoy it. I wish there was more to the story, but it's a Game Jam game. Uh, you can't really expect too much from them. I mean, you can expect some really good gems out of them, but no, you're not really going to expect any long games from them. Alright, and... Golden Boy. Hello there, boss. We found your lost little lamb. It's in the sewers right below your apartment. I sent my man here, there to unlock it for you. Just a warning, boss. The union may not be as sweet as you'd expect it to be. Teehee. Enjoy.
All right. Well, time to make it down to the sewers. Vincent? Fuck. Uh, tell Julius. Tell him that I... God. There's a letter on the wall. Camarilla's scum will not be tolerated in Los Angeles. We killed LaCroix. We killed Tara. We will kill everyone who tries to take away our freedom. Let this be a warning. I need to, inf I need to inform my sire about this immediately. Uh, how will I put this in a goddamn email? Oh, I thought he was just going to take it. Oh, well. I feel like that was different. I don't remember reading that letter last time I played. Um, I know what happened. You mean uh, Santa Monica Pier as soon as you can. I might be in trouble, but there's no point in running now. He knows exactly where I am. Shit. Alright, let's head out. Julius? I'm so sorry. It was the work of the Anarchs, right? Yes, how did you know? Vincent was a fool to meddle with them. They play the role of noble idealists, but underneath it all, they're just monsters, like the rest of us. Will you seek your revenge, then? No, Anarchs haven't killed just one vampire today. What, what do you mean? I'm staying here. You mean in Santa Monica? On this beach, until dawn. May the first rays of the water be the last thing I see. Julius, come on. Let's get out of here. Matt, listen to me. I'm giving you something that Vincent could never give me. What I'm offering you is a choice. What are you talking about? It's said that your kind, the thin blood kind, can still go back to being human, maybe, if you're lucky. How? One must kill their sire to get their chance. Kill you? But that's not your only option. Let me drink my blood as well. Drain me dry. Julius, stop this nonsense. That'll help you become a fully fledged vampire. No one judging you for because of it because of your blood anymore. Your power is finally fully fleshed out, enabling you to do so much more. Julius. Or you may just leave me here. Let me burn. Remain who you are now. I can't. You must decide, my child. We have time until dawn. Now, uh, last time I played, I actually, I actually chose to become human again, human again, because, uh, this life seems pretty, uh, pretty fucked, to be quite honest. Um, also, last time I played, Julius, I was right, I didn't remember reading that letter, because Julius said he had actually killed him, um, because, uh, I guess he was just messing with shit too much, um... Or something along those lines. But anyways, um, I'm, I'm not going to pick to become human again. Um, basically, what you're missing in that is just like... The, since he felt the sun before, he just wanted to become human again so he could just be human again. Uh, and now he's tasted death, he's not afraid of it to come again. Um, so... I am actually going to go what is probably going to be the saddest one. I'm going to just... Then leave me here. No, I'm not going to. Don't be stupid. I'm not stupid, Julius. I'm immune to sunlight. I can at least stay with you until the end. Oh. No wonder you'd rather remain a thin blood then. Fine. Stay with me. Thank you, my child. No, thank you. You're not mad at me for your embrace? I know I should be, but you taught me everything I know. You brought me here. Wanted to, be, wanted to come here for such a long time, Julius. And you're not disappointed? It's too early to tell. But somewhere deep in my heart, I feel like I'm home. Oh, shit. Remember, wherever you go... It is the blood of Cain which makes your fate. Damn, that was a good ending. You know what? 
I know I said it already that I really enjoy this game, but god dang, I really enjoy this game. This story is actually really well done, and the writing is super, super good. I, I really like this. I really like this. I am... I think I'm gonna have to try and find other games this company has developed, um, because this story is really good. I loved the endings. They've all felt pretty, pretty satisfying. I didn't play the other one, but I mean, it. The two I have played felt pretty satisfying, and so has all the dialogue. It's felt pretty fleshed out, pretty real, um, and it's just such a good game. The music is pretty good. Graphics are really awesome. I love pixel style games. Um, and it's all just really good. Anyways, if you guys want to play this game for yourselves, I'll leave a link to the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please give this video a like, please share with friends, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Uh, you can check out my social medias down in the description below, as well as my Patreon if you want to try and help support the channel. Uh, this is Cyberwolf, signing off.